Okay, here we want to be able to solve each inequality for x. So we have two natural log of x is greater than 2, which is less than 9. Since it's a compound inequality, we want to solve for x. We can exponentiate all three sides. So this becomes e to the second power, which is less than e to the natural log of x, which is less than e to the power of 9. And so that allows us now to have e to the natural log of x is going to be x. So x is in between e squared and e to the ninth. So if we wrote this in set for the notation, x such that x is in between e squared and e to the ninth. Or an interval notation, it would go from e squared to e to the ninth. Okay, for part b, we have e to the power of 2 minus 3x, which is greater than 4. So let's take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of e to the power of 2 minus 3x, which is greater than the natural log of 4. And therefore, we get 2 minus 3x, which is greater than the natural log of 4. If we subtract 2 to both sides, we get negative 3x, which is greater than negative 2, plus the natural log of 4. If we divide both sides by the negative, then we flip the inequality, and that becomes positive 2 minus the natural log of 4. And then if we divide both sides by 3, then we can get 1 third times 2 minus the natural log of 4. So in set building notation, it would be x such that x is less than 1 third times 2 minus the natural log of 4. Or in interval notation, it would go from negative infinity to 1 third times 2 minus the natural log of 4.